what advice would you have for other firms out there uh, in this current climate? So what do you mean by current climate? So obviously challenging times off the back of the Royal Commission, there's been you know, a lot of uh, dealer group movement as well and banks moving away and... Right, because you know, you say challenging times, I think of uh, Trump, I think of trade wars, I think of uh, monetary policy. Um, a lot of people are thinking you know, a turbulence in, uh, in the compliance regime out in Australia. Uh, they're thinking about the broker model. Like, I don't think that there's ever been a time where I've been in financial services where there hasn't been fires to put out in some way, shape or form. Right? We, we do have like, little periods of time of, of utopian kind of views and, and, the, and you know, a little bit of time to relax. And for me, that's a rebuilding time. My view is always to, to not look five feet in front because if you're looking five feet in front, you're never ever gonna see the end of the race. Um, for me, it's look further out into the future, give yourself the ability to be able to plan and hit your five and 10 year goals rather than looking one or two years down the track. Because what I know about business in general is that if you have a short term view and you fail in the first 12 months, if you have a big vision for the next two years and then you stumble at the beginning, then you won't hit that in two years and you're gonna feel like a failure. But if you start to look further out at five and 10 years and start to adjust your business and start to shoot for those models, well, you can screw it up multiple times in the initial year or first two or three or four years. And sometimes you need to do that in order to be able to learn the lessons from the mistakes that you've made in order to be able to integrate things into your business and have real success and that's the thing that propels you forward. I think that in this kind of environment, the thing that kills businesses, the thing that kills motivation, the thing that kills um, us as human beings, you know, and, and ultimately contributes to, uh, uh, you know, mental health problems and things of that nature is short-term vision, you know, is, is looking too short in front of you and then missing the bigger picture because you put too much stress on yourself. Mm. I think if there was anything that I'd be giving advice to, to the, the advisors that I speak with is start to strategically position yourself for the future that you know is coming and understand that business models are gonna change and don't be worried about it, embrace it and then figure out how is it that we can actually start to adapt now in order to get on board or even in front of the change that's inevitably gonna come. Because if you don't and you look backwards or you look one or two steps forward, then eventually something's going to come and hit you and you'll never see it coming. There you go. So we have it there from Andy Finton. Think big and plan for the long term. Andy, thank you so much for spending some time with us and I'll see you at the next innovation series. Thanks.